you have decided to tune into the Understandable Have a Nice Day podcast with Jesse, Kyle, and Connor. A show that reads and reacts to the funniest stories on Reddit. We are required to tell you that this show can contain some pretty gross stories, so keep that in mind before you continue. Also, please don't use any advice we give in real life, as none of us are professionals. Hi, welcome to the first episode of Understandable Have a Nice Day. I'm Jesse. I'm Kyle. And I'm Connor. We are so excited for you guys to join us. Guys, I just found a really, really good one. This is actually a little bit older, Mm -hmm. but this story is always really funny. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It's called, Today I Fucked Up by Throwing Shit Out a Window. (laughs) Oh. Um, Okay. So... We've all been there. We've all been there, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, as college students at our internships, we've all <laughs> thrown shit out of the window, apparently. So the TLDR of this is uh, I was in heavily need of taking a shit, and it, t- <laughs> it, it it clogged the toilet. He got scared and tried to throw it out of a window. Now, to put now put into perspective. No. I, what? You're giving me a weird look. To put into perspective, yeah, I'm giving you a weird look. <laughs> the, the, there have been terrible office shits so far and people were trying to figure out who it is because like it would be in protest of like wage cuts over time whenever they would assign those someone would be like pooping on the floors and the walls and I, stepping in it i'm just imagining like a union agreement <laughs> meeting and they're just like look if you don't give us workers rights we're just gonna clog your toilets <laughs> well no the thing is he didn't clog him he pooped on the floor and stuff but <laughs> no, th- this company took it an extra step this is a software company someone had stepped in it there's a footprint so they went around checking oh, everybody's God. souls to see if there's residue. Yeah, I'm they gonna could check my soul because there was a problem. Podcast. So the, the writer of this isn't that, but they, they called him the ninja shitter because one time it happened and nobody could, no one like they checked the bathrooms and it was gone, like Batman, it was gone. <laughs> so, okay, wait. When you say like they checked the bathrooms and it was gone, like like the you... person was gone, like they, they, no one had no one had residue on their foot, and the person like was nowhere to be seen, but there was poop all over the place. I feel like there. This I, is not I the point of the story. <laughs> this is not the point of the I'm story. I'm just really hung up on what you said about Batman being the ninja <laughs> shitter. I'm just imagining Christian Bale like, I shit all over the floor. It was me. It was Scatman. It was, it was <laughs> Scatman. So anyways, this guy, uh, he doesn't know what it is. He doesn't want to feel guilty. But apparently, so being a software engineer, he held in his poop for a very long time until it was ready to burst. Is that a correlation? Software engineers do that? No, well, he wanted he was in the zone working. Oh, of so course. He didn't yeah, want to yeah. go to the bathroom. I get that. So anyways, he did his business. When he tried to flush, yeah, I'm going to read this part. When I tried to flush, the horrible conclusion came to mind. It was clogged. Then, for no reason, the multiple ninja poopers came to my mind, and I was really scared of being labeled one. And if I took too long in the bathroom, I would raise myself as like raise suspicion. Um, well, in a fit of desperation, I took toilet paper, made a glove, took the shit. Luckily me, it was single and solid. Lucky you. And threw it out the window. Now, my office was on the seventh floor. It was around 2 p.m. I never looked out the window or talked to anybody till the end of my workday, blah, blah, blah. By 6 p.m. came an email saying the office would change buildings. Listening to the gossip, it became clear. My poop wrap came undone midair, and the shit landed on the white car hood of one of the directors of my company. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's impressive. Do you think that we can sign him to a contract in the MLB? Yeah. He accused the sewage of the building. The building denied. The conflict escalated, and my office will change to five to seven blocks away. This is really bad because the office was right in front of the subway station, and now he has to walk more days take buses and days of rain and spend more money Jeez. So, so this had a lot of consequences yeah i mean i don't understand why his mind went throw it out the window instead of like i don't want to talk too much about yeah. this poop like you know what you could do with a clogged toilet and poop oh but, you can do a lot with a clogged I toilet mean, and poop. as the disclaimer in the beginning field do not take any advice we give <laughs> but like i think this tops any bad advice we'd ever give like that's like the worst you could do other than you know being the poop ninja <laughs> I, I just, I think you know it's gonna be a good story when, for the background of it, you have to understand that people have been protesting by <laughs> clogging toilets and shitting on the floor. Yeah, I mean that that's a new idea. That's a new protest idea. I'll just say the way he wrote the part where he talked about the protests is really funny too. He'd just be like, "Too much overtime, shit all over the bathroom. Switching health insurance to the worst plan, shit all over." How fast has this been coming? Like switching your health plan is no short thing. It's like a gradual thing and this guy is just like i want to meet the guy who's the poop shitter oh sorry the poop shitter the, 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 <laughs> the, the, the it's the, all of us the ninja shitter <laughs> and he said there was multiple because apparently they would happen and like like close in time where there's no way oh someone God. gonna have that much poop inside of them 
Oh, it's clearly you've so never... So this is... Or... People have organized. <laughs> yeah. Clearly you don't understand how much people are protesting. You were joking about a union, but I think that there might be a union you... of poopers. <laughs> I agree. The, the top comment is, in fear of being labeled a shit ninja, you became one. The most powerful one there was. <laughs> I mean... The shit trebuchet. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else, I would take that title. Apparently, too, after the switch, the ninja pooper continued. Ooh. This guy's a madman. <laughs> Maybe I, it was a mistake, and then peop, like the original one was, and then more people hopped on the train. It was just like, oh, look at this bold protest. I'm going to interject here with a bit of a local story. So I'm from New Jersey, and all I can think about right now is uh, about a year ago, uh, someone got discovered. So at a local high school football field, okay, um, they were finding human poop oh, on the football field track. Good. And, oh, you know, they had they the poop experts to... come in, and they're like, yep, yeah, nope, this is human this is, poop. This is human poop. Um, <laughs> and so they were like, all right, who's doing this? This is a recurring thing. Eventually, they found the person. It was a uh, rival superintendent of what? a different school district who was – he claimed that he was running on the track and just often had to use the bathroom. <laughs> Where would he the poop be? Issues. He was just like, shit – on the, on the football field on the center wow. and he gained he gained notoriety as the pooper intendant that's that's a legacy now kyle you went to a catholic school <laughs> i did i don't think there's pooping in that school like you guys just oh yeah we, we not never poop. pooped um <laughs> the moment yeah. you left and came to ithaca though oh know. the moment i left i was like this is what bathrooms are for <laughs> um no the the first thing i thought of was uh you know how there's that thing i don't know if it's a myth or not but sugar-free gummy bears make you gotta go. Okay. And that's a thing. And uh, my junior year of high school, uh, I was on the tennis team. And uh, we had this one guy on the team who uh, always rubbed us the wrong way. Um, and he would he would just be, you know, blatantly rude to us and, you know, think he was better. And, I think you I know, know where this is going. A bunch of stuff. So somebody else on the team, not me, but I heard about it, um, decided to, um, you know, friendly like give everyone some gummy bears on the way to a match but he gave this kid the sugar-free ones and he made a he bolted for the porta potty in the middle of his match he made he what he made he made for it he made what did he make what do you think he made i know what he made but what do you think he made i think everyone here knows what he made i think that there is a little trail following him since everyone has their own personal stories i have one that's not a ninja poop story or anything like not like nothing could top you the pooper intendant but like i was at a rest stop once and there was a line for the guy's bathroom for the this stalls. is never a good way to, this is never a good way to start yeah well one person in the line decided he couldn't hold anymore so he just in front of everybody in the line went i'm sorry and pulled his pants down whoa <laughs> and went right on the floor <laughs> that's that's a power move <laughs> like I have nothing but respect for this man. I'll yeah, that's big dick you. energy. And, s- and then stepped on it in the way out. Oh, would... no. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, there was a humongous footprint. You're in a gas station, right? And my dad just comes on and goes, he just smiles, shaking his head, goes, some guy just pooped on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs a bag of Funyuns and is like, all right, see you guys later. <laughs> um, anyways, moving okay. on from this, there's a lot of funny poop Reddit stories out there. Perhaps you're referring to the poop knife story? I am unfamiliar with this one. Is okay. that like Fortnite? <laughs> it's exactly like Fortnite, Kyle. Okay. Like, we're going to shorten this down to for you for explanation. But um, the basis of the story is that there is this man, and uh, he his family, quote, poops big. <laughs> um, <laughs> everyone in the family poops big. Um, so it's a common occurrence for them that uh, they will clog the toilet. Uh, so... Naturally, the only way to deal with this is to have a poop knife, um, an old rusty kitchen knife oh. that hung on a nail in the laundry room, only to be used to break up the massive family poops. Are we sure it's rusty? Wow. <laughs> no, he did specifically say it's a rusty old knife that hangs on a nail oh, in the laundry room. God. This is like a tradition for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, you know, he, and the, the wildest part about the story is like, it's like one of those things where if you don't know otherwise, you just assume it's normal. So he's like, yeah, you have your standard kit. You have your plunger, your toilet brush, and your poop knife. Oh, my gosh. So My family t- poops big. His family <laughs> poops big. Um, at this point now, he's like 22 years old. Um, <laughs> it's been a day or two between poops. So so you know he's about to, he's about to make <laughs> about it. About to let it go. Um, 
So he excuses himself, goes to the bathroom. He's at a friend's house. Oh, good. Um, and he, he looks down and sees that it's a sideways one. <laughs> so he just knows it's not going down. Oh, gosh. Um, so he uh, cracks him in the door, and he calls out to his friend, and he sa- asks him for the poop knife. <laughs> so naturally, the guy comes back. He has no idea what he's talking about. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny, can I get your poop knife? <laughs> you What? My poop knife, you know, you break up the little shits in the in the toilet. <laughs> oh no! So he's saying poop knife. The guy doesn't understand. Obviously, the disconnect here is he calls it something different because <laughs> that's what he assumes. So he starts giving it other names: the fecal cleaver, the dung divider, Ooh. the guano glaive. I like the alliteration here. He's really going for. It. I love it. Um, and then he explains, you know, what the poop knife is, and I just cannot imagine being the person that has to explain to someone what a poop knife is. After 22 years of using one and then realizing how how strange it yeah. is, like once you actually stop and think about it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't, I'm trying to think of like similar things. It, it makes sense though that she didn't know because like you don't go around talking about the plungers that you just bought. No. But like, I. But everyone knows that I, I would never want to, yeah, plungers. A, B, I wouldn't. <laughs> I would never want to look down at a toilet <laughs> and stick a knife in there. No. I mean, sometimes you I just feel get like a little I, curious. I, give a, I gave, a, like, again, a warning about the not following the advice. I feel like these guys are just topic. Like, they're stealing all the bad advice that we're trying to give people right now. It's incredible. At least this guy didn't throw it out the window. That's true. Yeah. They're just yeah. they're just trying to get it down. You know, I bet if the first guy had a poop knife, <laughs> all of this could be solved. I don't That's think a good no, point. nothing would be solved because I feel like the ninja poopers would still get the building move. But they, but it wouldn't end up on the roof of a car. <laughs> a white yeah. car. A white car. Anyways, the poop knife though. It the, just it doesn't make any sense it, to it, me. It just Well, your family it, doesn't poop big. I don't know. Like maybe my family does. Maybe I don't even know about it. Maybe I just don't poop big. All I know is that maybe he eats a little too many fiber one bars. Or not enough. No, his whole family. But, his, his whole family has a history of big, yeah, but, big poops. But, like, is that a genetic thing? Like, can we get a scientist in here? Like, do you want, you want a genetic thing? I feel like it's. A, no, I feel like it's. Correct. No, wait, hang on. I feel like it could have something to do with, like, your. your um, your digestive systems like your, yeah because like people who have good metabolisms like but like he mentioned in the story that the poop had to be was sideways and he was like oh this ain't good but you know you i wouldn't think that the poop would be that solid that maybe it maybe it's weird diets um, like if his family just eats like what makes hard poops? i i don't know I don't. I don't know. Thank you for coming to the Poop Talk podcast. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't prepared for this. Okay. this the Poop Cast. Hey, yeah, the Poop Cast. You're you're killing it with these poop jokes. Thank you. Uh, it's my hobby. <laughs> it's it's my your hobby. hobby. Poop jokes. All right, we're gonna take a short break. Uh, take this time to subscribe, like, and of course, stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment. Hopefully, with no more poop stories. <laughs> or hopefully, more poop stories. All right. Let us know. We'll, uh, we'll be back after this break. Okay, welcome back. Guys, this is our second segment. We're going to be going to Ask Reddit. And we're just going to be finding some. It could be as old as you want. Mm-hmm. Find some questions. It could be as fast as you want. We could have some to spend some more time discussing others. Let's find some good Ask Reddits. Answer them themselves. And be sure to read the responses. I think some of these are, uh, I think some of these are really, really good. Um, I could start. So I love this question, first of all. It's the, what's the most bizarre thing you've caught you doing after your brain's autopilot misfired? Um, I don't know if you guys can think of any. That that's a cool question because like when you're driving, I think that's when your auto pad, uh, autopilot really configures. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I can give a story about my friend Preston, who was driving for a while, and you know we're we know like even when you're driving with someone, you kind of look out your own ways. You know, we weren't talking for a little bit. I look over at him, and he's in like a giving birth position with his feet up in the air. His foot up is like in the air, and I have a Snapchat of this, of. He was just casually doing it. I'm like, what are you doing? And he just puts his foot down. And that was the end of that. <laughs> All right. You know, casual. The the top response, one of them is vigorously picking my nose while holding a cigarette and driving. Crammed a lit cigarette up his nose. Oh. That just, ah. hey, no, hey, kids, don't smoke. But that, that's, that's yeah. a bold way to smoke. Shove a jewel up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it wasn't the lit side, right? God, I, I hope not. I'm trying to think. No, because he wouldn't be putting yeah, it inside yeah. of his mouth. Yeah. Did he just invent a new way to smoke? Did he take a drag from his nose? 
that's these a, are the questions. That, that's a. I'm pretty sure some potheads here at Ithaca College have. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, you always have to find new ways to make smoke rings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, um, although with Vine shut down, I don't know what's the point anymore. Okay. Is there is there a TikTok scene for smoke rings? Yes, definitely. I mean, that, that I feel oh, like that whole easily. like 80 percent of that crowd have, or they vape. So like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm, well, there goes my chances of TikTok ever sponsoring this podcast. Um, there's another one. I was getting ready for work. I had a contact in one hand and a vitamin in the other. Popped the contact in my mouth and washed it down with a glass of water. I'm sure the stomach acid took care of it. Now, I don't wear contacts, <laughs> but I do. do you get so – do both you both you yeah. guys do. Um, do you guys get so automatic with putting your contacts in that you don't even like – think to look at it you're just like oh i don't need a mirror anymore i'll tell bed. you this i don't need a mirror anymore to do mine mm-hmm. however i do need to think about it when i'm doing it because like if i don't my eye gets starts getting red and people ask why i've been crying <laughs> which is unrelated i have been crying but like <laughs> it's okay we've all been i should have been recovered um i'm trying to think do i i, I think i still need a mirror i haven't been wearing mine for very long i okay. started wearing contacts a couple months ago you're wearing them right yeah. now I am wearing them right now. Thank you for noticing. No I've been thinking about getting contacts. I, I think um, the glasses are a part of your signature look. Yeah, but it's just difficult with what I want to do, like, career-wise. Uh, but anyway, to me, if I'm putting something in my eye, I am going to at least slightly look at it before I shove it in my eye. <laughs> That's why so, you look up. You look up when you do it. Yeah, I, I know. Say, but I, when I, you I, actually do it, but, like, I would be like, oh, you can't see me right now. But I would be like, oh, here's the contact in my finger. Bring it towards my eye, then I'll look up and put it in. I don't. I think it's the vitamin though. That's what he got it confused with. Yeah, because the guy asked, "Did you shove the vitamin in your eye?" Yeah, like was this was this a clear vitamin? Like what's going on? I I think it was like early in the morning. The guy probably just woke up, so he probably wasn't thinking. I've done some really dumb things autopilot. Oh, one hundred percent. In the morning specifically. Ah, uh, I can't. I like because it was in the morning. I'm forgetting it, but I've like put things in the freezer that don't like. I once left my phone in the freezer and like nice. brought my microwave breakfast upstairs with me, and I was right. looking for my phone again and realized where's the last place I've been? Well, it was the freezer, and there it was in there. <laughs> um, I think one of the best places for early morning autopilot is if you're a morning shower person. Um, I uh, this has happened to me multiple times. Um, Body washing hair. No, not body wash and hair. Conditioner all over body. Yes, oh, wow. I've done that. It's a much more difficult one to get off. Yeah. You just beca- That's <laughs> got to feel, feel like weird. a seal. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that. So for me in my apartment, I have a, a dishwasher and there's, you know, it's built into the counter. So a lot of times if I have to like throw something out or like a scrape off my plate, I'll put what I'm going to put in the dishwasher on that counter. I'll go throw the thing out. So I know for at least once I have like eaten something say like i want to say like eating ice cream at night like late at night yeah and so i was thinking you know i do this all the time autopilot i it turns out that i put the ice cream um carton on the counter on top of the dishwasher and then i threw out my bowl and my spoon um so it wasn't until i went back to the carton to put it in the dishwasher (laughs) that i realized what i had done (laughs) What, have you guys ever uh, accidentally hopped in the sink instead of the shower? Can't say I have, Jesse. <laughs> I mean, accidentally? Maybe. I don't know. I don't like the way you're looking at me, Kyle. I, I mean, once accidentally, no joke, because so the way my apartment works is we, we keep our, our um, all of our toiletries in one cabinet. And that's our cabinet. Mm-hmm. But we, we like to keep the counter space clear because four of us share one bathroom. I accidentally grabbed the bottle of body wash and put it on my toothbrush. Oh, oh, yeah, I've done amazing. that too. Really? Not a shampoo, I think. Yeah. No, wait, no, what was it? It takes a while to get off because you, no, no, you do not want to put that I, in your I mouth. I hand soap. That makes a lot of sense because it's on the table soap. already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one time I almost, um, uh, because like I lather shaving cream with my hands and everything, um, one time I almost lathered toothpaste on my cheeks. I feel um, like that would have been kind of hard. Like it would have just like crushed Yeah, it I didn't off. get there. Like yeah. I noticed right before it happened, but yeah. I almost did that. Mm-hmm. So we've been talking a lot about uh, how our bodies screw with us, but I want to talk about uh, how do you subtly fuck with other people? I'm, but I, I don't know how I subtly. I, I'm like I feel bad about fucking with people too long. I always oh, get I scared of getting caught. I know you don't. Kyle. <laughs> well, it's it's less that I get creative with like things around me and things we interact with. I just get very creative with my words. Um, so if you don't know me, hi, my name's Kyle and I like to fuck with people. Uh, it's kind of my, uh, my MO. 
Uh, a lot of my friends know know me by my roasting. Um, but the best kind of roast you only can do with like your closest friends because they're the only ones that know that will like you know laugh and stuff. Uh, so don't go to random people and make fun of them because that's not cool. Um, but I will find very very subtle things that my friends are just slightly uncomfortable with, and I will exploit that. Mm-hmm. Um, that like, I do know. <laughs> Being yeah, your like, roommate for a year let me know about that. <laughs> so like I will I, I have a really close friend who can't take a compliment. And so I won't like blatantly be like, oh my God, hey, like you really you look really great today, or I really liked what you did there. I'm not gonna do it blatantly. No. It's mm-hmm. gonna be really subtle. Um that it's like it's not a backhanded compliment. It's a genuine compliment, but I know that they hate it. So um so they don't appreciate it. Another thing with one of my current apartment mates um he 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 doesn't like i'm trying to explain him as a person in like a sentence but uh specifically for this he he cooks a a couple of things that he really really loves to cook i i'm sure he got the the recipe from his family um and he he loves to cook them and he loves to eat them in reality it's really good food like he's given me some of it and it's it's really tasty but i'll just give like a very very slight um inclination that it's not up to par because i cook a lot and everyone in my apartment knows me as like the cook um so it just a very, very slight like, oh, you know, you could have just you could have done that or it could have been a little bit better. And that really hurts him. <laughs> but he You're knows I'm worse. Not, that, that, yeah, no, that, that crushed me. It had nothing to do with me. <laughs> he knows I'm not serious because I've eaten the food before and like really loved it. And, mm-hmm. you know, when it comes down to it. But like if we're just messing around, I'll just pull stuff like that out. Um, and it, uh, it, it'll be it'll be funny. <laughs> So moving into a slightly, slightly different direction of ways to fuck with people. Um, I remember back in, back in high school, uh, we had like our art class in this big computer lab and everyone had like their own little like art station with a computer on it. And what I would like to do is I would plug my mouse into the computer next to me and just pretend like I was working. So I'm just doing my work and I'd wait for someone, the person at that computer to go to like move the mouse. And I would just like shift my mouse to the right a little bit, uh, shift it to the left. And they'd be like wondering what is going wrong with the <laughs> computer for like 10 minutes before they realize that I'm plugged in. Jeez. That's so, that's genius. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, I, I, I'm reading what this guy is saying too is as I'm saying goodbye, I like to say dick hair. <laughs> what? If you say it fast enough, it says sounds like take care. People usually pause for dick a split hair. second. And kind of get that look on their face. Like, did I just hear him say dick hair? It's great. I used to say, and then the guy responds, I used to say penis instead of peanuts when I work at Mc, McDonald's. I just imagine you're at Five Guys and you want a, a bucket of peanuts. And you're just like, hey, excuse me, um, where are all the peanuts today? It just, it sounds close enough. Yeah. Like where I, I, don't, I would question myself oh, more than I would question example. you. Oh, he gave an example. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I ha- I'll have a Sunday. Yeah, do you want penis on that? What? <laughs> Oh, sorry. I have a penis allergy. Would you, would you like penis on that? I would repeat, and if inside, hold up a bag of peanuts. Oh, or, sorry, or, or sorry, a bag of penis. So they're like, did I hear them wrong? Yeah, or exactly. Mm-hmm. I, I have one more example, which is like mm-hmm. not as uh, not as cruel as my other ones. Um, but I've been doing this for, for a long time. So people, I found that people have a tendency. Um, just quick sidebar. I like to conduct social experiments. Yes. Um, so I noticed that people have a tendency when they can't find something like they immediately like either freak out or they go and ask people and they never actually look for the thing. So I will just very subtly, like say someone's phone is on a table. I'll just take it and I will literally put it on the floor, like touching their foot and people will look back over and they will freak out. Like, where's my phone? And they'll ask everyone in the room, like, Oh my God, where is it? And they go to all these like really weird, like hiding spots that no way they could have lost it there. And I just wait and I just see how long it takes them to literally look down and it's been there the entire time. It's pretty impressive. It's People... one thing to steal things, Kyle. It's another thing to just put them right there. Yeah, no, that, I don't genius. steal things. Yeah, it's it's like... Oh, that's really good. Yeah, like I said, it's just right next to you. I just slightly move it and everyone doesn't know what to do with themselves. <laughs> so um, I was the victim of a social experiment of sorts. Uh, was it one of and mine? I hate to... I hate to bring back the uh, poop discussion, but um, <laughs> oh, no. So, also high school story. A uh, good friend of mine, Eric. You both know Eric. Yeah. Um, he, for years in high school, I'm not exaggerating, years would tell random people that I poop standing up. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, yeah, I heard about this. Yeah. So t- to be clear, 
I do not poop standing up. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm positive. And but the thing is, he realized that there is no way to defend yourself when someone <laughs> says that you poop standing up without sounding like you definitely poop standing up. <laughs> So what he would do is when we would meet new people, he would tell them, oh, this is my friend Connor. He poops standing up. And I would have to defend myself. I, I sounded like a madman every single time. <laughs> so this all culminated um, roughly like two and a half, three years into him telling random people frequently that I poop standing up. Um, we went to a party. He got there like maybe an hour before I did. And he is, uh, I show up. He's sitting there on the floor. Uh, the party is mostly people that we don't know. It's kind of like a weird, like, a friend of a friend's party. So I knew, like, my friends there, but not the majority of the people. And I show up, and he's sitting on the sitting on the floor just, like, talking to people. And he waves me over, and I say, hey, what's up? And he was just whispers in my ear, I told everyone at this party that you poop standing up. Oh, my God. And so naturally... My reaction was to defend myself by standing up and saying, attention, everyone. No. I do not poop standing up. He played and you I so hard. And I sat back down, and he whispered into my ear, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Did he back wow. maniacally into a corner and disappear? <laughs> Honestly, I wish I could have disappeared in that, <laughs> that moment. Connor, you got wow. yeah, to just accept it. That's the only way to beat this. That I just own it, you think? Yeah, you have to own it. But what if I don't? You could just... Okay, so you could just take a video of yourself shitting. <laughs> <laughs> but again... Okay, so again, this comes back to the idea of, like, you can't defend yourself from this without making it seem like you definitely poop standing up. If True. I have gone so so deep into this to film myself pooping to show to strangers as defense for no, me no, no, sitting down strangers. when I poop... No, this is... He says this to strangers. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. <laughs> if I've got, gone that far to get evidence that I don't poop standing up... Yeah. I definitely poop standing up. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. I mm. Again, welcome to the poop cast. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we really wanted to come full circle to pooping, we could. Um, because a uh, a nice Redditor here, uh, they ask, people who haven't pooped in 2019 yet, why are you still holding on to last year's shit? And that's a good question. Thoughts? I, I think that we should clarify the date that this was made, which is... January okay. of 2019. No, no, not no, no. the current date. It's December. It's December. So you're. you're this is. I'm people... asking this in December. <laughs> I see. Frankly, Kyle, I don't. I don't think I can answer that question. Yeah, I don't as... know if I can answer it either. It's a good question. It's act. This is actually one of the top. The one of the top posts on Axe Reddit of all time. That is. That's interesting. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um. His name is Shoddy Substance Eleven. <laughs> oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's a good question. Philosophical question. There's another philosophical question on this list too, and it's, what's one fart you regret more? We're, we're turning into a kid show. What's one God. fart you regret more than any other farts you've ever farted? And this was posted by a user named Penis Feet One. <laughs> penis oh. Feet. Oh, peanuts? No. Yeah. <laughs> like, like a bag of nuts. <laughs> Uh, I can't say I document my uh, flatulation. I don't document them, but there's certainly ones where I wish I've never ever I I, I wanted to die afterwards. Yes. Next to my crush in math class, sixth grade. Uh, wow, we, that's we had, really. We had these cages under our seats. That's where we put our books in. We're just um, going. So I reached down to grab it. Oh uh, okay. Oh no. Right at her. Woo. But you know what? I, I she believed my my fake story. <laughs> was your fake story that you poop standing up? <laughs> no, that's a real I story. I, I showed her. I said that was my rings grinding against the side of the cage. Oh, and I okay. recreated the exact sound for her. And she was like, oh. And she stopped and she stopped laughing immediately. She's like, I thought you she's like, oh, I thought you just straight up farted in my face. I'm like, no. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it does smell really bad though, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to think of like my own experience with uh i mean the top farting. comments are calm like this is a common it's like everyone's taking a test and this guy oh. thought he could get away with one <laughs> yeah i think go ahead one of my favorite stories i've ever seen online is the story of a guy who was taking a test and he thought that he could cover up the sound of his fart by dropping his textbooks on the ground at the same time that he farted in theory 
could work. What <laughs> happened was he just knocked all of his textbooks off his desk. Everyone turned and looked at him, and then he just ripped ass <laughs> as everyone stared at him. <laughs> stared at him. No. Oh my god. The poor boy. This is another good story. Everyone's saying is when they shot themselves, which I've done, but my worst was just the small trumpet sound. Dry as sand. No biggie. Except that hot girl who was taking measurements for a suit I thought walked away was still in the room. I went through it uh, I went with it. There uh though telling her I was holding that note in. We laughed and guess what? No, she's not my wife. No idea who she was, but that ass chirp didn't help. Oh, my gosh. I, I, I'm i thinking, too. So, like I said earlier, I, I play tennis, and I still play very competitively and stuff. Oh no. So, you know, when you play tennis on a higher competitive level, it's, it's a lot of lateral movement. It's a lot of, like, little hopping and, like, you know, what we call split stepping and stuff um, and pivoting. And so there's a lot of, like – harsh movements on your body and like quick quick jumps and quick hops um and also when you hit the ball you exhale like that's yeah that's just common like that's the right way to hit the ball so sometimes when you let go with your breath the other end also lets go um now are you telling me that tennis grunts may not be coming from their mouth no comment <laughs> um this but is news to me <laughs> while i did not shit myself I specifically remember playing a match and in like it was a long rally, like five five shots in a row. Every time I struck the ball, it was just it was just just every time. And like I was playing single. I was playing single, so it was fine, but I was just like clearly distracted this whole point. Um, and the only thing that that comes close to that is I was playing doubles with a partner and you know a lot of times when you win when you win good points and stuff you know you'll slap high five you'll touch rackets you know, <laughs> oh, no. celebrate so this one we had this really really good point long intense doubles point and we were fired up when we won the point so we're like we run up to each other and we get like getting ready to give a big high five it's just right on the right on the impact of the high five I can't even make the sound it's just it was just did yeah, you, so, but, but the one. sound at least mask it. I don't know because I just moved on. <laughs> That's a good call. All right. Well, we had a lot of poop and farting stories, so I feel like maybe we are a kids' show after all. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to put the NSFW tag on it, but now I will. I think we said a lot of uh, adult words. We today. did say a lot of adult words today, but um, yeah, this is the first episode uh, of our podcast. This has been a great joy, and we have plenty of more content to come. We still have so much ammunition, don't oh, we? Of course. Are we talking about talking content about or poop? Comedy. Comedy. Not no, poop. Not, not all poop. of our episodes are going to be about poop. Okay, because as soon as we turn this these mics off, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, that's all the stories we have for today. Don't worry. There will be more, and if you want to catch those, you got to subscribe. You share, like, all that helps you keep up to date with what's going on with us. It supports us. Send us your funniest stories and posts, preferably no more poop stories, and maybe we can review them too. Thank you guys for listening. Stay safe out there, and we'll speak to you guys next time. Hey, Jesse, can I get your poop knife?